Now check, check. I believe we are live. We're live. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Turquoise Skies. It's Friday. Uh, we've got some cool stuff today. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this guy. Look how purple he is. Can you guess what stone that is? Check it out in just a few minutes. We'll be right with you. All right, we're live. Hello. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Turquoise Skies. Uh, we'll give everyone a few minutes to get here. I'm Matthew James. Uh, we're here in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Uh, we're at a jewelry shop. Hi, Rita. Hey, Deb. Welcome, everybody. Uh, as you know, it's Friday, and we uh, today we're doing a special show because uh, Father's Day. Uh, we're doing uh, an extra discount. We're going to be doing 30% uh, off today. So. Every, we're going to be showing a lot of jewelry on the, on the show, and if you see something you like, uh, you're welcome to buy it. Um, we're going to take 30% off of our retail prices. Hey, Sophia. Hey, Dennis. Uh, Jaron. Hey, Jaron. Good to see you. He popped in yesterday. He was like, I haven't been here for a while. Yeah. Did you get all settled, all, all your traveling and everything done? Hey, Kathy. Welcome. We've got some, some cool pieces today. Um, if this is your first time, welcome. Welcome to the show. Uh, we uh, are a, a jewelry shop in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Hey, Tina, I haven't seen you in a while either. Um, we're, going, we're selling jewelry and everything is for sale. Uh, if you see something you like, all you have to do is say sold. Um, it helps us out. I don't even have numbers out there. I'm slacking. I'm going to be putting numbers as I put everything on the screen. And if you just let me know what number you're interested as they come out, uh, and I uh, will set it aside for you. Still burning the candle at both ends, huh? Well, take care of yourself, you know. Your health's important, too. Um, anyway, uh, I, I hope you got to see our Turquoise show this Wednesday. Uh, we had Dayton Simmons on. I had a blast. had a great time. Dayton, if you're watching, thank you for coming. Um, it's super important to uh, to know your stuff, and I, I hope that's something that we get out of our show. Um, integrity, honesty is super important to us, and so um, we want you to arm yourselves with the knowledge of, uh, of of a lot of this stuff in the industry because it really helps you when you're shopping in other places. There's some really good shows out there. There's some artists that are selling some things. We totally support that, but there's also some things to watch out for. So. Um, if you want to learn a little bit about turquoise, that is a great place to uh, to learn. Um, go back and check out our Wednesday show. Uh, we talked about turquoise. Speaking of which, um, integrity, of course, is super important. Um, we, are, we, we take a lot of pride in being a reputable dealer. Uh, we do four to five shows a week. Sometimes mistakes are made. Um, I made a mistake last week. Uh, I just wanted to point it out. I don't know if... Uh, if you're interested in one of those pieces, but uh, we we had a couple necklaces on, and I totally uh, made a mistake. Uh, I had a, a necklace, and I said it was Raymond Bird. However, it is uh, Romana Bird. So I am sorry, Romana, if you're watching. Uh, I just wanted to point that out, and uh, I'm sorry I made a mistake. On Fridays, we usually like to bring out our big stuff, and. Uh, I'm just a huge fan of some of the beadwork from Santa Domingo, and we brought out some of the beads last week. And um, just to let you know, uh, if you're looking at that piece, um, let's do a name correction uh, on that. Uh, uh, this industry is very sensitive, and we want to make sure that um, people get appropriate credibility for their work. So thank you. Thank you for your patience and understanding, everyone. So we've got a lot of bracelets today. I've got a few necklaces, a few pendants, and uh, actually a few little concho belts out here. And uh, like I said a few minutes ago, we're taking 30% off today. So are you ready to get into it? Get into it? Yeah, we've got Miki on camera today. Right here. Um, if you need to get a hold of us, I think we've got Devin Edison upstairs. Um, you can call us here at the shop, 505-862-9443. Um, you can reach out us, to us uh, by email, hello at tskies.com. Uh, you can message us on Facebook. Uh, yeah, let's get started, huh? So, 
We just kind of have a random grab bag of stuff today. This first piece, there we go. This is, uh, is this camera working? Yeah, I have it up. It's a little blurry. Yeah, it's a little blurry, isn't it? It's a little dark. Yeah, let's uh, let's turn that light up. This is a uh, there we go. Hey Jane, check that out. Is that Tufacast? It is Tufacast. I'm learning a little bit. Man, you're getting better. <laughs> this is a handsaw bezel here. We've got that beautiful quality Kingman turquoise stone there in the center. And something to look for with the TubaCast, you see that texture on there? This is something uh, that you get from uh, casting with that Tufa stone. So Tufa stone is a, uh, it's a soft stone, uh, but it, it retains its detail. Um, tradition, some some uh, Navajo artisans will uh, carve with the Tufa stone and use it as their block for uh, casting. And Usually tufa doesn't hold up, up too well after you uh, cast, so a lot of times it'll crack. So um, a lot of times you only get one copy out of that. Not all the time, sometimes you can get a couple, but it's very sensitive. Um, this piece here, uh, the artist uh, worked with us for a while. His name is Eugene Mitchell, uh, silversmith, Navajo. Uh, his son, Reggie Mitchell, and grandson uh, will be here tomorrow. Uh, we're doing a special guest show with them and we're gonna let them talk a little bit more about this tufa casting. So please join us tomorrow for our guest artist show. This is the, uh, this is Reggie's father, Eugene, and uh, the, this is a belt buckle. It's priced at 500, we're gonna be taking 30% off today. I'll get a couple measurements on the belt as well. So that'll be on sale for what, 350? Yep. So let's see what kind of belt that's going to fit. You'll be good with a one and a half inch belt on that. It's measuring about three inches by two and a half. And there we go. Beautiful sterling silver. I really like this touch of that handsaw bezel on that stone. Com completely handmade. Navajo Tupa cast belt buckle. That's number one. All right. Moving on to number two. Uh, this is a good friend of mine. Uh, this is the Santo Domingo uh, artisan, uh, Isaac Coriz. This is a, a chain for a necklace. Isaac Coriz is, uh, he's still working at the Pueblo a lot. Um, they're still uh, very strict right now with, uh, even though COVID is clearing up in a lot of places, they're very cautious and he's doing a lot of work there right now. So he hasn't been able to make a lot. Uh, I saw him the other day and he's anxious to get making jewelry again. His mother is uh, Mary Coriz Lovato and uh, that's actually how I met Isaac. I, I ran into Mary at the, uh, the silver shop and she invited me over to their house and uh, during the festivals, I would always go over and eat dinner with them or lunch and they're very welcoming, really great people. Uh, her father was Leo Coriz and uh, she was also mentored by, by Charles Aloma, uh, Hopi silversmith. Let's talk about more about this piece. This Thunderbird here, Isaac is known for his mosaic inlay and specifically his Thunderbird design. Each of these links are handmade by hand, handmade by hand, made by hand. Hmm. Yeah, you need a pretty big bale. You're right, Kim. Or you just wear it like a chain. Let me get a length on the, on the chain here. This is the Rain and Thunder necklace. It is 20 inches long. That's a good question, Kim. Did we ever get back to you, Kim, for the, uh, did, you, did you need a, a ring resized? Did anybody ever get back to you on that? Did you talk to Kim about that? I talked to her on the phone, um, maybe 
dealt with this? If not, I can I can get her situated. The rings are about half inch. So yeah, you would need a, a bigger bail on that. We've got the handmade clasp, the Isaac Corries. Uh, his price on this was eight fifty. So five ninety five. So this will be five ninety five. Okay, that was item number two. Number three. We know this artist, he was here uh, this last week. Uh, this is a little different. You might not be able to guess who made this because of the style. Um, it's very different than is normal. But this is Eddie Secretaro. What kind of stone is that? What kind of stone is that, everyone? This is what we call, let's see if someone gets it. I'm sure, I'm sure everyone's gonna get it. Uh, this. Eddie, that's right, and you got it, Eddie Secretaro. He usually does the cut work, but he was experimenting. Um, I think we actually have our hallmark here on the back with him, that turquoise guy is, and yes, that is Wild Horse Magnesite. Oh, sold. Sold number Horse, one. Number one is sold, yeah. Number one sold to Lacey. Sir, thank you. It's a great piece. Yeah, Join us tomorrow, Lacey. You can meet his family. His daughter, Taisha, used to work here as well. She was in charge of our social media. Thank you, Lacey. Wild Horse Magnesite. That's right. I believe this is a mine in California. I did not buy this from the mine, uh, but it was a stone. Wait, Lacey wants the chain, not the. Oh, number chain, okay. Isaac. Still the same price. There you go. That works. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is item number three. Hey, Michael. Uh, and this is an Eddie Secretaro piece. I think it's valuable because it's pretty rare that you'll see him do this. <laughs> you know, it's kind of special to see that. Uh, from an artist like that. This was 600. I know this is not, this took him a lot longer, I think, than his normal cutting because he's so fast at that. So I know there's a lot of time involved there. So we're going to be taking, what, $180 off? Yep, 420. This will be $420 for the Eddie Secretaro Magnesite Wild Horse. I like the layers here. Every mm -hmm. single one of these uh, buttons is basically measured silver shot. And so you'll take a little piece of scrap silver and with your torch, you melt it and it, it turns into a little ball. And you can put that little ball into a, a trough and stamp on top of it. Each one of those was done that way. It takes a really long time. And we've got the layer rope wire with the magnus, uh, magnesite stone in the middle. And then we have our Eddie Secretaro Hallmark, as well as the T-Skies, he was uh, putting some T-Skies on some of the things just with, uh, just because he's cool, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> That's item number three. Two is sold. All right, number four. This is an, another from that batch. Beautiful green turquoise stone. We learned a lot about turquoise on Wednesday. Um, I believe that this is actually uh, from the uh, Royston area, but I can't even remember anymore, so I don't want to say. Eddie Secretaro, uh, he cut out the border and did the stamp work and Place the stone. Got that bale there, not quite large enough to go on that Isaac chain that we saw a minute ago. But this as well as 600, so that'll be on sale for 420. Mm -hmm. So item number four, Eddie Secretaro, big turquoise. 
uh, measuring three inches with the bail, uh, three and a quarter with the bail, uh, two and a half without. Beautiful stone. Item number four. I feel like I'm flying through these today. This one's cool. Check this out. This is an uh, artist I, I really haven't seen much work from. Uh, he was apprenticing Aaron Anderson and Gallup for a little while. And so this is also Tufa cast. Um, we saw that belt buckle earlier. Look, you can, you can, still, you can see that texture in there. And uh, I think I, I think I got this in maybe 2010. Um, and Darren Yazi was learning from Aaron Anderson, who's also a two for cast artist in the Gallup area. Uh, he works in the same. Well, they, they were working in a in a shop. Uh, right there off of Main Street in Gallup. And uh, it's the same shop that Daryl Dean Begay was working out of. Although Daryl has a whole workshop in his garage. We've got a video of that as well. If you go to our YouTube channel, you can check out uh, Daryl and Aaron. Aaron's got a video on there uh, doing some of the tufa casting. Got these almost petroglyph looking that designs. Cool. Yeah, that is cool. Centered with that triple stone. We do have the tufa block with this. This is one of a kind. If you purchase this, we will include the tufa. Yeah, that's cool, huh? I love that oxidation and the texture. Uh, this one was 1800 let's get a size I haven't I've been missing up on uh, some sizing haven't I I guess we haven't had any bracelets yet it is five with one and a half inch gap we can shape this for you that would be a six and a half this will actually fit me there we go that looks good good for dad uh, What's the artist's name? Darren Yazi. Um, there's just a D back there, and I really haven't seen too much of his work. I'll have to contact Aaron to see if he's still making jewelry. Twelve sixty is the uh, discounted price. So, this will be uh, on sale for twelve sixty. Um, we can size it for you. Just let us know. You won't be able to easily bend this down. It is really thick. And so if you have a size, um, we can go to six and a quarter up to probably about a seven, six and a quarter to a seven, uh, well, probably around a six to a seven. Let us know and we can, we can shape that for you. So this is, this is item number five, Dale Yazi. I'm sorry, Darren Yazi. This artist um, also worked he lives way out on the reservation, um, but he'd come into town sometimes. He showed me, he showed me how to inlay. That's cool. Yeah, but he's one of the people that have just showed me his techniques. Uh, check out this turquoise. That's so cool. It's so vibrant. Oh, Kim, yeah, we finished your, we, that necklace is finished. We'll need to get, we need to get that back to you. It is done. I saw it in the done pile yesterday. I talked to Olivia about it too, yeah, so it's done. Yeah, it's, it's completed. Sure. So we do jewelry repair here. Uh, Kim uh, got it, purchased a, an Isaac Corey's necklace and one of the stones broken, so we glued and fix that. Check that out. Can you see that? That's cool. Yeah, it's coming through for me. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> is that not awesome? Yeah, that's so cool. Look, he's wearing a squash blossom. That's rad. Super awesome. Who's the artist on this one more time? This is Lester James. Lester James. 
from the Gallup area. I feel like I haven't seen a lot of these guys in a long time. COVID's put a big damper on the social game <laughs> out here. Amazing. Yay. <clears throat> Call this a yay. Navajo deity. There. Got the turquoise and coral. Wow, no kidding. Let's get a measurement on that. We're looking at a just over a five with a one and a quarter inch gap. If I open it, I can't open it very good, but it's gonna be really tight on me, but I can get it. There we go. Yes. That's so cool. Yeah, so cool. Oh, no, I'm not going to be able to get it off. It's a part of you now. There we go. This was also 1800 We'll be on sale. We have... Uh, there we go. This is item number six. Lester James Denae Silversmith. Navajo Silversmith. Manly Cuff or Father's Day, Kim. Yeah. Uh, what was the sale price on that? Twelve sixty. Twelve sixty. All right, we've got some more bracelets, but you know what? I want to show off these Contro belts. I've got this old Contro belt I got from Indian Teepee when they closed down. They gave me some of their inventory. So, yes. What is the length on this thing? Old chain Contro belt is 41 inches so let's see yep there we go nice 41 inches doesn't that look good <laughs> <laughs> uh, you've got a couple of chains um, you can link on to obviously uh, there's there's chain throughout the whole belt and so if you're got a smaller waist than I do uh, you can hook onto it <laughs> at any place I've seen I've seen a lot of uh, people these days wearing these as necklaces, so they'll just just double it. Yeah, you can double it. You can just wear it like that. I mean, that's cool. Get a get a shot here of uh, the conchas. So this is uh, here's the concho. And the butterfly, stamp work and repousse. We say repousse, which is the chasing work here. Um, in the industry, we call it the bump out stamp because it bumps out. You can see on the back side there. And that's done by placing, there's a stamp, a male and a female stamp. One goes on one side and then one that goes on the other. Actually, it'll be, it'll be inside the female there. And then you'll stamp it and it'll make that, that bump out. Sterling silver. This piece was a thousand dollars. It'll be on sale today for seven hundred. We've got some smoke and deal coming up next. I wanted to show you a little bit of the differences, though. Um, we've got a machine stamped, a handcrafted copper contra belt. I've got two of these. And uh, I want you to guess the price on these. Look at these conchos. The thing about this, you can see that machining is, it's so perfect. When the quality is so perfect like that compared to, you know, some of the hand stamp th pieces. It's one of the indications you can look for, especially if every concho is exactly the same. But, This silver one, it is vintage, and it was $1,000. Guess how much this copper is? It's one-tenth the price. It was $100. This will be on sale for uh, 70 
I have two of these. This is item number eight. Seven, eight. I have two of these. Item number eight for seventy dollars. <coughs> um, I'll get a measurement on this as well. Copper sold to Brenda Rose. <coughs> one sold, and Tina's buying the nice. second one. Yeah. Is that right? Yep. Okay, they're out. I just give you a measurement on it, just because I started. It's about the same. Yeah, forty-three inches. So you got or just a little bit longer. Tina and Brenda, congratulations. Thank you for your for joining us. Okay, number eight's gone. Number nine. We're getting to that purple. Everyone was waiting for that. <laughs> it's coming. Let's see who made this. Oh, Ver Vernon. Number nine. Beautiful green turquoise butterfly. Navajo Silversmith. He's often confused. There's a uh, Virgil Begay in Arizona that has a completely different style. But this is Vernon Begay. Uh, he will not make, be making any more pieces. Unfortunately, he passed away about five years ago. He was from Thoreau, New Mexico, uh, just west of Albuquerque, a smaller town. His initial there on the piece. I don't know if you can see it. VB? Yep, it's coming through for me. All right. Turquoise, butterfly, all handmade. Sterling silver. Got those repousse. Back his price watching. This was $600 on sale for $420. Five inches uh, with a one inch gap, so that right now it's currently set at a size six. It'll be a little bit too small for me. Um, <clears throat> we can squeeze it down a little bit, or we can open it up to. It is four hundred twenty dollars. And it has not sold yet. It's only a matter of time. Thirty percent off today. Super cool. We call this a four shanks silver cuff because there's four shanks, uh, tapered endings. Um, Sold to Kim Santini. Kim take, took it. Hello. Thank you, Kim. Congratulations. That was a beautiful piece. I know there was a couple people there wanting to jump. That was item number nine. Mm -hmm. uh, number ten. Da, 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 we'll do this one. Hmm. I didn't buy this one directly from the artist. I've seen uh, Ida Chester make some pieces like this, but this is not hers. Uh, this is stamped with an A, which there are like 30 artists that stamp their mark, their jewelry with an A. But it is Navajo style. We've got tapered turquoise and coral. Beautiful red coral. And turquoise. It's almost like a graduated cluster. Mm -hmm. Sorry, says DNS, you missed out. Let's get a zoom in on that. Kim wants to know if that last one can be open to six and a quarter. Yes, no problem, Kim. Can you write notes on that? No. Then you know what? We'll we'll put your uh, your your repair in that box. Save shipping cost. Good idea. 
This very well could be Sleeping Beauty. It could also be Kingman. Tapered bracelet. Size six and a half. <coughs> Excuse me. Mm, might be closer to six and a quarter. Somewhere between six and a quarter, six and a half. Missed out, I'm sorry. It's item number 10. We're kind of cruising through these today. What was the size and the price on that one? Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, the size was uh, six and a quarter. Six and a quarter. Uh, the price was uh, four twenty-five before the sale. So what would that be? Two ninety-seven. Two hundred ninety-seven dollars. So one more look at that. Two hundred ninety-seven dollars for this piece. This is item number ten. Thirty percent off today. Nez, this is a definitely a Nez family design. Yep, we got Nez, we got have Rosemary Nez. Uh, let's look at the Hallmark, oh, I'll come back to the Hallmark. I'm sorry I missed out, I've got another, oh, Kathy just sniped the purple. <laughs> She's like, whatever, I'm not waiting. <laughs> <laughs> We're just, I'm gonna show that purple off anyway, Kathy. Just to let everybody know, Kathy just purchased the purple bracelet, she knows it's coming. That price on the purple was twelve hundred, so it'll be on sale for what? Eight forty. Wow. Okay. Anyway, congratulations, Kathy. I'll, I'll I'll set that aside for a second. I want to show it off though, because it's super cool, and I've got a little bit to talk about it. This one is. Uh, it looks like Zuni uh, Petty Point. I'm sorry, Zuni Needlepoint. Uh, this really fine uh, turquoise cut here is usually a Zuni thing. However, this is uh, the, the Navajo family, um, Nathaniel and Rosemary Nez doing that cluster design. Here we go. Their hallmark, if you see that anywhere, is, let's get a zoom in on that. It's N and R Nez. It's faded a little bit on this one. It almost <coughs> looks like an N and P Nez, but that is for Nathaniel and Rosemary. Danae Silversmiths. If everyone knows, Danae is Navajo. It's a cute little bracelet. The price on this was four seventy five, so that'll be on sale for three thirty two. For three hundred and thirty two dollars, it is five and a quarter with one inch gap. That'll be six and a quarter. Kim's size perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> yep. That is item number eleven. You know, we're we're gonna just jump over to this purple this purple piece. Calling that one number 12. Number 12 has already been sold, but I wanted to zoom. What well, look at that? Can anyone tell me what stone that is? Um, they basically mined out most of this color. Um, I believe it's from the South Africa um, mine. Um, and I believe that's the only place in the world that they could find it. And the newer stuff on the market now is very dark. That's right, Heather, Sujulite. That is amazing Sujulite. Kathy Suter has already purchased this piece. Uh, this is also, you see the hallmark there? This is uh, the late Vernon Begay. Uh, he passed away about... I'm gonna say four or five years ago, at least. Uh, he was from Thoreau, New Mexico, Navajo silversmith. 
very well known. This this uh, this stone you just it's hard to find. Look at the, just the vibrant purple. It's just it's just so unreal. It's like magical. Segmented uh, little beat shot stamps. What are you gonna wear with this, Kathy? Like a yellow dress. That would look nice. Anyway, thank you, Kathy. I will play the drum for you. This is twelve hundred before the sale. Yep, eight forty with the. Uh, okay, after it. Thank you, Kathy, and thank you, everyone, for coming. And thank you to uh, Vernon, the late Vernon Begay. Um, so number 10, 11, 12 is gone. So, 13. so we're going to be looking at uh, number 13. Um, this is so similar in, in style to the turquoise and coral we had on a few minutes ago. It's the item number 13. This is beautiful coral. Can you see the coral, how it varies in color a little bit? Mm -hmm. How it's not perfectly the same color? It's, it's one of the indications of good quality coral. Uh, a lot of the stuff, it's, and they're not, cult, they're not farming it. I mean, they're not uh, harvesting it out of the ocean anymore, and so there's only so, so much of this stuff around now, and it's getting expensive. The, the new coral that we're seeing on the market is all dyed. Um, it is being farmed, so it's sustainable. Um, but the farm coral is usually white, and then they're dyeing it. Look at these beautiful stones. I'm sorry, corals. I wouldn't call them a shell or a stone. because A coral is an animal. Mm -hmm. Sterling silver. There we go. We've got the artist hallmark there. Uh, Rydell wood. Uh, and the price was two twenty four. So will that be two hundred ninety seven dollars? Let's get a measurement on the piece. Rydell wood, you said. Yes. Five and a quarter, one inch gap, that is six and a quarter as well. Number 13. Oh, okay, number 14, this old belt buckle. This gentleman brought it in to me. Um, from a storage unit and I he brought in this and he brought in a whole bucket of sterling silver silverware <laughs> and uh, everyone has been making jewelry out of the silverware that's cool <laughs> yeah kind of stone is that? if coral is white and being dyed why don't they harvest from dead reefs I don't know I don't know, Brenda. It's a good question. This is sterling silver, green turquoise. And we all learned on Wednesday that the green is the iron content in the mother stone. Of course, there is usually a little aluminum that, um, see that little spot right there, how it turns blue a little bit? That. There's a little pop of aluminum, obviously copper and some other, that's a copper compound. Nice stones, thanks, Marnia. Uh, AC Hallmark, this is a, uh, one and a half belt for that. 
This is item number 14. Item number 14. Oop. Two more items here. Anybody guess this artist? I think we've shown this piece before. Lovely handmade silver leaves. We've got four uh, leaf pendants in the center and the large center leaf, all on a handmade chain. <coughs> Sterling silver. those leaves. Those are cool. Each one of these is hand stamped for the texture. So Mr. Begay, Ben Begay actually, uh, created these leaves by hand. I'm sorry, feathers. Was originally $400. We're going to be taking $120 off. So this will be on sale for $280. We'll get a length on the necklace. Uh, it's going to be 20 inches from end to end. And then we're going to have that pendant hanging down uh, 3 inches. Ben Begay. Sold, number 15. Necklace. That's number 15, sold. To Magdalia. I'm like taking the number 15 over here to you. <laughs> Congratulations. That was a good price on that. Yeah, for real. Lay away, please. Thank you. I hope you're surviving the heat wave this summer. It's been hot here. Uh, then there's a tropical storm rolling into the south. If you're in Louisiana, uh, it's coming. So everyone take care. Uh, we have this necklace. Does anybody want to see this thing? Have we have we showed this thing before? This has been sitting up in our... I don't know if we've shown that. We've shown similar, but I don't think we've shown that one. This is Chris. Samantha has a question about our online store. Samantha, do you have an online store? Where can I see other items in your shop? Yes, we do, Samantha. Um, you can visit our website, tskies.com. Uh, Miki's gonna put the uh, website link in the description below. Um, if you're in Albuquerque, please swing by. Um, you can check it out. We are at 8106 Manal, Northeast, Albuquerque, New Mexico, just on the outskirts of Uptown in the Northeast. Um, our website has a lot of our signature items. Um, those are pieces that we make here in shop. Um, we have a lot of this uh, type of jewelry as well. Um, this is local jewelry from local artists. And when I say local, I'm saying like New Mexico and to Arizona a little bit. Uh, everything out here today is Native American. Um, we are a Southwestern jewelry store and we manufacture jewelry, but we also uh, care in our gallery carry uh, Authentic Native American jewelry, uh, handcrafted jewelry, um, Southwestern jewelry. A lot of this stuff you won't find online on our website, but you can check on our Instagram. Uh, our handle is at T Skies Jewelry. Um, you're obviously on our Facebook page, um, but we have shows uh, four days a week. So come join us. This, because this stuff is one of a kind, um, there's a lot of energy that goes into writing descriptions, weighing and measuring it um, and everything. And I, I like to be able to talk about it a little bit. So presenting it on the screen, letting people ask questions. I don't know, I just feel like there's, there's more of a connection there and more of a respect for the art. And so that's what we do. Um, our website um, is uh, more contemporary, I would say. 
uh, with their signature lines. But sign up for our email list because we, we also have small batches that we sell. Um, we'll have artists come in and make like a batch of like 10 uh, or, or sometimes 20 items and uh, they'll be very similar. And uh, the only way you can get a hold of those is basically through our email list and we'll let you know. Be ready for this. Beautiful squash blossom. I love his finish on these beads. These are handmade bench beads. Um, and Devin's gonna, Devin Edison, as you know, uh, silversmith here in our shop, we're gonna be doing some video work on how these are made. We also sell a variation uh, we call desert pearls in our shop uh, that are handcrafted beads. Uh, we also have a line of nausea. The nausea has a long history. It was actually brought over to the New World from the Spanish. It, uh, they wore it. The horses uh, had it. Um, it was their bridles. And it was taken by the Navajo. Uh, it's a symbol of power, symbol of strength. And so that's where basically this got its start. It actually uh, did get its start there. Before the Spanish, it was introduced into Spain through the Moors and um, through that Islamic heritage, they made it into Spain from uh, the Middle East. So it's got a long history. I've been told that, we've discussed that here before, uh, and after looking into it more, that this is originally a pomegranate shape, the symbol of fertility. Although it's treated very differently in different places in the world, obviously, uh, the Navajo warriors would wear it around their necks, the symbol of strength. And that was incorporated into the squash blossom necklace, which these are the squashes here. Let me check those out. Yes, this is a great piece to showcase. Would, be, would you be able to showcase some of the unsold pieces from your live shows on your site? You know, we, we've tried, I think the best, closest thing we were doing is we were taking pictures of everything that didn't sell and we put them on Instagram. And then we ran that Instagram feed on our website and nothing ever sold ever. What if we did like a weekly wrap up show on like Monday? Maybe. <clears throat> and it's everything that didn't sell from the previous week. That, that might be a good idea. We should try some different things Maybe. again. Cause Maybe I know we've had those cool. questions before. Love these squashes. Look at that. The stamp work there on every single squash. That's cool. Brilliant artist. He's just clean and solid lines. Here we go. I, I like the little the de little detail here and uh, the bales for the pendants for the squashes here. That little texture. Everybody likes my wrap-up idea. I'm a trendsetter. Set and trends. Uh, amazing. We've got Chris's mar covered up by a number here. <laughs> there in the back. Um, I honestly don't even need that number anymore. I can shine it up. There we go, you get that C Hale. Chris Hale is the artist? Yes. Yeah, maybe posting in the inner circle and letting the inner circle have first dibs at pieces, huh? I like that. I think that's a good yeah, idea. Yeah, maybe that's the way to do it. I just don't want to overwhelm the inner circle with just pieces, but anyway, this piece was, we got a measurement on it. We can, we can figure this out for all the non-sellers. It's 26 inches. It was $2,000. We will be taking 600 off. That'll be on sale for 1400 That is an incredible deal. I will be surprised if that 
What are we doing? And my finger's all black from rubbing <laughs> off the... This item number 16. 16, there you go. Just stick that right there, number 16. Okay, I think that uh, that about wraps it up. We can do a speed round here. We've got a few pieces left. Um, but if you're joining the show after hours or if you're just joining and you see something you like, um, these pieces could still be available. Don't hesitate to reach out. You can email us, hello at tsguys.com. Uh, contact us here at the store, 505-862-9443. Uh, leave a message if nobody answers. And um, yeah, we'll, we'll first come, first serve. When we come back in in the morning and check the answer machine, mm -hmm. uh, we've, had, we've had that issue before where uh, we need to answer the machine in, in order. Uh, we can handle being overwhelmed. Yeah, everybody okay. wants it, so we got to figure something out. Okay, first piece here. Eugene Mitchell. Navajo Tufa Cast. Uh, we will be seeing his family come in tomorrow. This was 500. Three. On sale for three fifty. Belt buckle. We've got wild horse. Uh, it's Reggie's father, Michael. Surprised this didn't sell yet. Yeah, Eddie. I think it was priced a little high, just because I mean he, he spent a lot of time on it. Eddie Secretaro, great piece. You know what? We can. I know Eddie will make another one. Uh, let's go, let's go three, 350 on this piece. All right. So that'll take off, that'll be a nicer discount. 350 for item number three. That's like almost 50% off, you guys. Number four, we'll do the same. Uh, 350, this is item number four. Uh, Eddie Secretaro, green turquoise pendant. Sold, number three to Tracy. Tracy. Squash sold to Sheila. Nice. Can I wear it the rest of the show? I was totally going to wear it tonight. I was going to go to a barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, oh man, if that doesn't sell, I'm wearing it tonight. But uh, I will not do that now. Sheila. Avery. Oh, that's great. I'm not going to find one for that price again. You're getting super expensive. Love it. Thank you, ladies. Sorry, I did it again. Uh, I said Darren Yazi. This is Delford Yazi. D E L F O R D? Yeah. Delford Yazi. I, I, you know what? I'm sorry, everyone. I just, I see so many names and so many artists now that. It's hard to keep track sometimes. So I apologize. This is a very sensitive industry and. Uh, I want to give, it's very important to me to give the artists. Uh, the respect that they deserve for the pieces that they're making and so um, Yeah, that, that happened last week uh, So yeah, this is Delford Yazi Sometimes I have to look at it for a second and just click I really don't want to give the wrong information it's super important and this Tupacast. Tupacast as well, yeah. Yep 
And this is, uh, we have the Tufa Stone with us. You will receive the Tufa Stone if you purchase this piece. Meaning no one else can ever have it. That's right. You put it on your mantle. It's unique. Was item number five? What was the price on that one? That one was eighteen hundred before, so it was what twelve forty? Twelve sixty. Number six. Two for cast once again. Worked in the same shop for a little while and galloped with along other well known artists that uh, you may have seen Aaron Anderson and Daryl Dean Begay. This is the Yay. Look at that detail, so awesome. This was also 1800 to be on sale for 1260. Remember, we have laying away, y'all. Lester James. That's right, if you spend over 250 more, layaway is available. Well, we need 25% uh, down and 25% a month until it's paid off. Uh, number seven is the silver chain concho vintage. Uh, this was $1,000 on sale for $700. Beautiful piece. 42 inches. Yep, old school sterling silver concho. Number 10 is the tapered graduated cluster, coral and turquoise, 425 before the sale. So it'll be $297 for number 10. Number 11 is the Nathaniel and Rosemary Nez. Sterling silver. Uh, the last one was a uh, six and a quarter. This one is also a six and a quarter. I think all of them are, right? Yeah, we just had the six and a quarter run. Number 11, this was uh, 475. What is the sell price on that, Mickey? Like three thirty or something. Three thirty two. Number thirteen, size six and a quarter. Got the tapered coral. This was also four twenty five before the sale, so it will be two ninety seven. Yep. Number 13. And number 14 will be the vintage belt buckle. Old school. Beautiful. Thank you, Christina, for supporting us. Thank you for supporting all of our artists and all of our community and... What was the price on that last one? Oh, okay. That'll be... Uh, it was 900 before. So we're going to take uh, 270 off. 630. And then asked to see the cuff again. <laughs> the cuff again. Uh, who doesn't want to just stare at this all night? Can you get that camera out? You? Whoa. Yeah, it's insane. Yeah. Can we maybe get that other camera on there too? Oh, you know what I should do? I should I should spin it. Where's our button? There we go. Yeah. That's it. Right yeah, there. zoom in a little bit. There we go. Boom. I'm gonna start that over. I mean, th this this block is the paint's kind of coming off of that. I don't even think we need to upgrade the block. There it goes. <laughs> I don't want to put that on a dirty block. Gorgeous. Yeah. That is a piece right there. Uh, 
Anyway, there you have it, everyone. One last little spin. Uh, thank you for joining us tonight. We're going to be back tomorrow with uh, Reggie Mitchell. Uh, he, he brought in a whole basket last time, and like we just picked from the basket for a couple hours. That would be fun. Yeah, it was, it was a good time. So um, he and his son are probably going to be here. Um, and, and, and he's just a really cool guy. Very articulate. Um, he, he can open them up and talk. So always feel free to ask questions. It's really great to have the artists here. I know a lot of y'all are, are not able to get out uh, to meet the, some of the markets and meet the artists. So we hope that you're able to... Um, ask the questions and, and meet some of these artists here. So we really appreciate your support. Um, they do too. And on behalf of everybody from Turquoise Skies, have a great night and we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. Mm -hmm.